Rose from Tribe Art Studio and welcome to our butterfly paint along. So what you're going to need for this painting is some poster paints. I've got some white, some blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow, red and black. You're also going to need a jar of water for washing your brushes and some paint brushes. So we've got a large brush and a small brush. You're also going to need a paint palette or maybe a paper plate if you don't have a palette, a pencil and a canvas or some paper and if you don't have an easel you can also lay it flat on the table. And then you'll also need a cloth for drying your brushes. So let's get started. So to start this painting we're going to start off with our pencil and we're going to start off with the body of the butterfly in the middle. And you want to make this nice and big on your canvas to fill it up. So I'm going to put in my body here. So we're just lightly sketching it out. And then I'm going to add in the antennas. And then once you have that part in, you can start adding your butterfly wings. So I'm going to make one big wing up here and then I'm going to shape this into smaller, sort of a smaller shape of these, of this one up here into two down here. And again on the other side. So you can even fix this up, you can go outside of your sketch lines if you want it to be a little bit bigger. Because we're going to be painting over this anyway, so don't worry too much. So I think I'm going to make my top wing into a little bit more shaped like these two, this, this wing here. So now we can see the shape of the butterfly coming to life. And now we're going to add our background. So for my background, I'm using my big brush and I've taken it out of my jar and I've dried the water off. And I'm going to start around my edges with some blue mixed together with white. And we're just gonna brush it in, just back and forth like this. And I'm gonna go all the way around the edges with this. So it can be a kind of messy background. It doesn't have to be perfect. And making it messy will give it a really nice texture when it's finished. Don't forget to do the edges of your canvas. So now we've got all my blue in, I'm going to take, I'm not washing my brush, and I'm just going to take some white and some purple, and we're going to add in some purple with this. So it's going to mix nicely with the blue there and kind of give it a nice tone. So don't be afraid to paint into the colour that's already there and it'll give it a nice blend. And we're just carefully painting around the outside of our butterfly. But don't worry if you get paint on your butterfly because we'll be painting on that again as well. So 
So now we're going to start bringing some pink tones into it. And I'm just taking the paint off my brush on the palette. I'm not going to wash it. And I'm going to take some pink and white together and start to paint those in. So we're going to finish it with this pink colour. So now with my brush, I'm just taking some white and I'm kind of going to blend it all together with the white. So just back and forth over the colours that you've already done. And if you need to add some of the colour that was already there, like the purple, just add it in. And keep blending. Maybe a little more blue down here. So you can really make your background whatever way you want it to be. It's nice and bright. So now with our smaller brush, we're gonna start painting in the body of the butterfly. So we're just going with black, and I'm just gonna paint the body in here. And I'm going to come back to my antennas when the background is dry. So let's paint the wings. So I'm going to go with orange first and I'm taking some orange on the side and some white together. And I'm going to start painting from the inner part all the way out. But you want to kind of leave these brush strokes visible and then we'll start to add some more colours on it. So now we've added all of our orange, we're going to take some, I'm not going to wash the brush, I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to again mix that with a little bit of white. And we're just going to focus on 
these two wings here and we're going to start bringing the yellow out so little brush strokes blending that color out but you still want to see the background so you don't want to uh, blend it all away So now I'm just going to take some of that paint off of my brush. We never want to overload our brush. I'm going to take some of that off and I'm going to take white on its own. And we're just going to bring in a little bit of white. So this is going to kind of blend the color lighter that we already have. So for the last colour on the top of this wing, I've washed off my brush this time because we're completely changing colour this time. So I'm taking some white on the side and I'm taking some blue and we're going to mix those together. And we're going to blend these out as our last colour. So you're going to fill your wing all the way out with this colour, the first two wings up here. Okay, so I've washed off my brush and we're going to fill in these wings here. And I'm just going to take some white. I'm going to add that on just a little, and then I'm going to add some yellow over it. And I'm going to do the same over this side. yellow over and now we're going to wash off our brush again okay so I've washed off my brush now and we're going to add pink for the last two colors down here so our pink again I'm going to mix with a little white on the side And we're just going to fill the rest of this in, in that pink. So I really want this to stand out and I think with that pink it's not really standing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red over it and I'm not washing my brush. I'm just taking some red and blending it over the top. And you can see now it's starting to really stand out from the background. So now we need to make 
make sure that all of this is dry before we move on to the next step. So I'm going to use a hair dryer to dry mine. You can use a hair dryer too at home or you can let it air dry for a little bit. So now that it's dry, we're going to make it pop with some black. So I'm going to use my small brush and I'm just going to take some black and I'm going to fill in the antennas first as well. So just two on top of the head. Okay, so now we're gonna add some black all around the outside. So this doesn't need to be perfectly lined. You can do it sketchy like you do with a pencil. And for this, a little bit of water on your brush will also help to spread out the paint. So now that we have the outline in, we don't need it to be so uniformed. So I'm going to bring some of this into the wing, just little strokes along the edge here. And you could do like a couple of little lines in here, just going through. So from the middle out with our black on our small brush still, we're going to bring some of these lines. So some short ones and some long ones. Just out from the body of the caterpillar. Or the butterfly. And you can do that for the whole uh, butterfly, you can do it all the way here and all the way here. So now that I've got all that black in, I'm going to give it some white as well. And it's going to really make it pop out then. So you can really keep adding colour um, as you like. You can add in more yellows, more oranges, more reds, build it up more as you like, but I think I'm happy enough with mine. <laughs> 